So I've had a question about the Wing Chun guard. And some people were asking me, should it be medium, high, low? Should you have that kind of guard in a fight? So it's, it's an interesting question and there's, there's lots of layers to it. There's not one right answer. So I'm gonna just explore some of the different possibilities. The Wing Chun guard can be different like heights. Some people have their guard very low, some people in the middle, some people are very high. Okay, so you see some people have it like this, here and here. To be honest, for me, that doesn't make any difference whatsoever because the guard is actually not a fighting guard. It's not for us. I wouldn't fight somebody and stand out and put my guard straight out all the time. I'd have my hands probably more closed and I'd guard myself a bit more because in a fight, someone's gonna swing punches at you and they're trying to hit you in the head a lot of times. So the school of thought for some people is to have the guard high because it's blocking that high line, which is obviously can make common sense. Or the middle is what, where my guard is ordinarily. And middle because if you wanna go low, low or you wanna go high, you're in the right spot. If you're too low, for me, you have to go through two different uh, segments to get high, or if you're high and the sun's coming low, again, you're going down two different levels. So I kind of equate it to the Filipino martial arts with ranges, because the weapons, weapon ranges make more sense because the weapon tells you the truth. You're either middle, you're either close, medium, or long. So if you're in the wrong range with a weapon, it's very obvious, okay? You can't jump from one range to, this, to the third range with weapons. So if I'm close range, I can go close to mid middle, I go middle to long. I can't go long to middle, right? I can't skip a range. So for me, the guard is the same. I don't want to skip a range. So if I'm, too, if I'm high, I need to go low. I need to go to middle to low as such, right? So I'm skipping a range to go low is a long way to go, okay? In the same sense, if I'm too low, going high to a high to defense angle high, it's gonna take a little bit too long. So for me, the middle position will mean I can go low, I can go high, I can control the middle, you can control your inside outside gate, okay? And that being said, it's only applicable to the way you train. So if you train your Sidham Tower high and you train your Sidham Tower low or middle, then your guards should be appropriate to how you train your Sidham Tower, right? The Sidham Tower is a blueprint for structural alignment and structural positioning. So it only really makes sense to whatever kind of structure you use. If you use a high structure, a medium structure, a low structure, that should be consistent. What I see is sometimes people doing their Tansa in the middle, their guard very low. That to me is inconsistent. Or they do their Tansa very high and then the guard very low. Again, it's inconsistent. You can use your guard at any level. So if I have my guard here and I have to bring my hands up, it's not incorrect. But I'm just starting from the neutral point. So it's the same as Chi Sao. For us, Chi Sao starts from a neutral point. Everything is neutral to each other. And then when you start, you have to try to ebb and flow and take control of the structure. So the framework of Wing Chun for me is all neutral positions. Everything should be as neutral as possible. Some people have their Bong Sao so it's slightly controlling the, the roll, or their Tan Sao to slightly control the roll. For me, that's not really what I'm trying to do. What we're trying to do is be neutral, and then once something happens, then I react. So if something's pressing me, I spread, I sink. So the reaction is from the neutral start point. If I'm already trying to control the tan or can trying to control the bong, then I'm kind of really cheating myself some development because I wanna I wanna feel like what it's like to control a situation when someone's coming at me. I need to get used to reacting inside, outside, up and down, off my neutral point, right? Not off a controlling point. So for me, the guard relates to your training, your forms. It relates to your goal in terms of your chi sao to, to develop your skills. So when you're in the clinch, your chi sao skills can work efficiently because you understand your positioning. So for me, the, the guard, this type of guard is really a training guard. It's training me to understand my center line, understand where my arm is in relation to center line, which gate I'm controlling, middle gate, upper gate, lower gate. So I start from the middle, I control middle gate. I turn to fuck and then I turn to bill, I go to upper gate okay down to gang so everything should be very organic and should be related to each movement and start from that neutral point so this type of guard is a neutral point guard first defense second defense so there's some principles of defense there for, for range okay in a real fight you're probably going to want to have your hand more ready to protect okay so this hand here this is the same the same length of bridge short bridge if you need to control the range over here you can extend to a long bridge movement Okay, but that's where your short bridge starts with, what we're talking about for this type of guard. This hand is not going to be here. This is for your training position, teaching you to control the center and again, to control the gates. In a fight, this hand needs to control the front and the side, right? Or this side, right? Because here I'm going to defend here and here. I might need to, I might need to cover if it's a heavy strike, if I'm too late to control the position. If a, if a strike's swinging at me, then obviously if I'm here, it's easy to turn to fork and then turn to bill and control that line. If I'm a bit late, then I need to cover and use my body weight and use that shield position, and then I, I start to spread when I'm in close, okay? So the guard position is very versatile. 
And the important thing is that you understand how the guard works to your particular style. Because many styles of windshield are different, have different goals and different emphasis, different start points. But in the end, we all have the same end point. You want to get in close and control the fight.